Recently I am going through the life hacks video on YouTube and finally ended up with this. And this guy thinks that soldering a 3.5mm audio jack to a DC motor would turn it into a speaker which outputs crystal clear audio. And he is not the only one. If there are n numbers of life hacks video on YouTube, n by 2 numbers are just fake and have their own intellectual claims. And nobody in this world is so lonely and undercover that they need this fucking life hack to listen to music through a DC motor. So in this video, I will show you why this is so fake and try to make something which actually works. So let's see how it works. A DC motor is constructed in such a way that a copper coil is placed inside a constant magnetic field. And according to the Lorentz law, when a current flows through the coil, a force is generated, which in case produces sufficient torque that allows the coil to spin on its own axis. And theoretically, the torque became close to zero when the coil is perpendicular with the constant magnetic field, which causes irregular motion of the rotor part. So, more number of coils are connected with separate commutators to compensate this, which allows the motor to rotate smoothly. But the construction of the speaker is different. The coil is placed on a pole which is attached to a disc magnet. When the coil is energized with an audio signal, the coil starts to oscillate up and down with respect to the amplitude of the audio signal. The cone is glued with the coil former and the spider secures the coil. During the oscillation of the coil, the cone pushes the air which creates audible sound wave. If we look closer to the audio output of a smartphone using an oscilloscope, we can see that the signal amplitude is in the range of millivolts, which is not sufficient enough to energize the DC motor. Furthermore, I attach the DC motor to the output of my amplifier made from scratch, which uses this circuit to amplify audio signal, and found that the motor is responding to the lower frequencies or the base of the audio signal, but still there is no sound from the DC motor. I probed my function generator to the DC motor and applied a low frequency square wave with an amplitude of 10 volt peak to peak. Doing this, the motor started to hum, but the humming sound is so low that my microphone is unable to pick it up. I need to find a way to energize the coil with sufficient current and then send PWM signal to generate tones from it, like the ESC of my quadcopter does. So I need a motor driver to drive the motor and a microcontroller to generate PWM signal. The important features we need from a motor driver are high output current and protection from the inductive current when the load is off. The L293D is the driver IC we need here, which uses a H-bridge configuration. The name H-bridge comes from a configuration like this. The load is connected to form a H and four switches are connected in this manner. If the load is a DC motor, pressing switch 1 and 2 at the same time will turn the DC motor clockwise and pressing switch 3 and 4 at the same time will turn the DC motor counterclockwise. Practically the switches are replaced by power transistor or MOSFETs. So this will be our final circuit to serve this purpose. Here is my breadboard, motor driver IC, the microcontroller and a 5 volt regulator to supply voltage to the microcontroller. Here we are using the Arduino ID to program the microcontroller. We are using the tone library also here to generate the songs. Ringtone text transfer language or RTTTL is needed. The links are given below in the description. The DC motor then moved forward and backward with the frequency generated by the RTTTL. The code is uploaded to the microcontroller. There is some problem with my breadboard. So I have to shift the motor driver IC to a different breadboard and here is the result. At the end of the day, it is better to listen to music with a good amplifier like this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.